Okay, in this problem we're asked to determine the unit vector u in the direction of v and calculate the directional derivative of f at p with res uh, in the direction of u. And we're told that v is the displacement vector from the point negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. Our function f is equal to 5xy squared plus x cubed y and p is the point negative 1, 1. Okay, so first we're going to want to calculate um, the unit vector u, and we know that we want it to be in the same direction as v, the di displacement vector from negative 1, 1 to 3, 4, and so that means that our vector is going to be Um, the normalized vector of 3, 4, minus 1, negative 1, 1. And so that's equal to four three over the square root of 16 plus 9 which is the square root of 25, or 5. So our vector, or our, yeah, our vector is going to be in the direction 1 fifth times the vector 4, 3. Um, and now we want to calculate the directional derivative of f at p uh, in the direction of u. So we know that The directional derivative of f at p in the direction of u is equal to the gradient vector of f at p dotted with u. So we want to find the gradient vector of f at p. So our function f is here and our point is negative 1, 1. Taking the partial derivative of f with respect to x. We get 5y squared plus 3x squared y. And taking the partial derivative with respect to y. We get 10xy plus x cubed. And we're going to evaluate that at negative 1, 1. So when we plug in negative 1, 1, we get 8, comma, negative 11. So our gradient vector of f at negative 1, 1 is the vector 8, negative 11. And we want to find the directional derivative of f at p in the direction of u. We know the gradient vector and we know u, so we can take the dot product of the gradient vector and u. we see that the directional derivative of f at p in the direction of u is equal to 1 fifth times the vector 8, negative 11, dotted with the vector 4, 3. And that simplifies down to negative 1 fifth. So our directional derivative of f at p in the direction of u is negative 1 fifth.